Award-winning artist Natalie Grant is one of the most recognized names in contemporary Christian music. But in 2004, she says she found a purpose that goes beyond her music career. The irony is it has very little to do with singing. Singing is what I do. It's not who I am. She says the journey to discovering her passion started while watching the TV show Law & Order. The episode was about human trafficking. I just remember that TV show always saying that they were ripped from the headlines, right? And I'm thinking, what headline is this? They were literally depicting kids being sold out of the back of a van in New York City. Like, this is the most innocent among us. But I just remember thinking, if this is actually happening somewhere in the world, uh, I need to know about it, and, and, and a lot of other people need to know about it too. So she made plans to travel to India, the area many consider to be the epicenter of human trafficking. But two days before the trip, one of her vocal cords ruptured. They're like, you may never sing again. You cannot speak, hum, whisper. You can't utter a single sound for at least 30 days. And I'm leaving to India. Voiceless, she went anyway. I'll never forget meeting this girl who uh, was sold on her 12th birthday by her own parents, rescued when she was 21. So for nine years, she was trafficked. She knew one thing that she did uh, know in English that she could say to me that I would understand. She took my hands and she just said, Jesus, 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 Jesus. She thought, okay, I can't go into all of my story in English, but when I say this name, you're gonna know that everything's been made right. I came here trying to learn how I could rescue them, and these who have so much brokenness showed me that Jesus does his best work through our broken pieces. When you can't make a sound, then all you can do is just lean on God and listen. It is amazing what happens. In 2005, Natalie co-founded the nonprofit Hope for Justice, whose mission is to bring an end to human trafficking by rescuing victims, restoring lives, and reforming society. Hope for Justice, which hard to believe that just started as a little dream off of meeting those girls in India is now on three different continents and four different countries with six different offices. So it's amazing when you use your voice to do what God has placed inside of you. We can be the change, be the love, yeah. Now the artist, wife, mother, and businesswoman hopes to help other women find God's calling in their own lives in her book, Finding Your Voice. In it, she shares her own journey through bulimia, infertility, self-doubt, and depression to find her identity in Christ and God's purpose in her life. And it starts with God's Word. And all throughout the book, from start to finish, it's full of my story, yes, but more than that, it's through, it's full of biblical examples because the foundation to finding your voice is the Word of God. Natalie says ultimately a personal relationship with God will give women the confidence to live their passion out loud. And my prayer is that every person that reads the book uh, when they put it down, their takeaway would be finding their identity in who Christ says that they are, discovering that personal relationship with Jesus Christ and that His view, what He sees, seeing ourselves through the lens of Christ and His grace over our life, begins to change every aspect of our life. It will strengthen our marriage. It will strengthen our ability to parent. It will strengthen our friendships. It strengthens everything about our life. And when you can find your voice in first understanding His voice over your life, you know, I think that's my prayer, is that every person who reads it would have a greater understanding of who they are in Christ. And I think that understanding changes everything.